Now, ratio questions come up a lot. Um, there was one paper recently that had about three different styles of ratio question in. So it's important that you understand the language to recognize when you're needing to use ratio. So this will often be the case with sharing money, recipes, things along those lines. But basically, the minute you start seeing language like twice as heavy, three times as much, half as much, twice as much, language like that tells you you've got ratio. And I would always recommend pulling the information out of the word problem and putting it so you can just see the information. So I'll show you how to do that with question one. So here we've been told 234 pounds, whoops, let me just change my highlighter to a friendlier color. 234 pounds is shared between Tia, Sophia and Dakota. So that Tia gets half as much as Sophia, who gets a third as much as Dakota. So I would give the girls names, this is my column heading. So T, S, and D. I also have the total amount of money. So I'm going to put that over here as well. So my total amount of money. So Tia gets half as much as Sophia, who gets a third as much as Dakota. So we need to establish who gets the least amount of money. Well, Tia gets less than Sophia, and Sophia gets less than Dakota. So Tia gets the least amount. So she will get a ratio of one. If she gets half as much as Sophia, Sophia must get twice as much as Tia, so she would get a ratio of two. And Sophia gets a third as much as Dakota, so Dakota gets three times more than Sophia, so that would be two times three would be six. So we've now got our proportions for each one. So Tia gets one share, Sophia gets two shares, and Dakota gets six shares. And if we add those together, we have a total number of shares of nine. So the money is shared nine into nine sections, if you like, and we have the total amount of money, which is 234 pounds. You would then need to work out how many times nine will go into 234. And I would recommend doing that in a bus stop. So if we go two, three, four, divided by nine, nine goes into 23 twice, with a remainder of five, and nine goes into 54 six times. So nine will get divide into 234, six, 26 times. So we can now times each of those ratios by 26, and that will tell us how much money Tia got, how much money Sophia got, and how much money Dakota got. You can then have a go at answering questions A and B. Okay, so pull the information out and stick it in a table like this. So all the information you've been given, find a way of expressing it there. The hardest bit here, I think, is probably identifying who gets the most because of the language, or most or least because of the language. Um, in this case, in question two, you've been given the ratios, okay? And you've been given the total amount again. So again, you could set it out like this, um, except this time they've given you the ratios, you're not having to work them out. But definitely worth practicing the ratio questions. These do come up a lot. Um, I'm just looking to see here. So this is sort of dividing um, 250 in, seeing how many times it will go in here. So you've got lots and lots of different ways um, that it can happen, but certainly recipes, um, that happens a lot with ratios. So scaling up, so you're given a recipe for um, eight people, for example, here. Jane makes enough raspberry ice cream for 20 people. How much cream does she use? So this recipe here you've been given will cater for eight you need to make it cater for 20. So the easiest thing to do here would be, well, eight people with the cream equals half a litre of cream. We need to find for 20 people. So you need to find, think, try and find the biggest number that will go into both eight and 20. Um, and in this case, it would be four. To go from eight to four, you are dividing by two. So a half a litre. And if you find it easier to work um, with whole numbers, that would obviously be 500 millilitres. Okay, um, so you could either do a quarter litre or 250 mil if you wanted to, if you think it's easier to work in numbers rather than fractions. So that's your millilitre equivalent. And then to go from four to 20, you would times by five. So you would have to do the same uh, to this one here to work out your answer.